For as long as games have existed, they have toyed with the idea of letting players explore fascinating worlds, big and small, futuristic and medieval, and everything in between. And though there's certainly incredible value in linear experiences as well, something about exploration-heavy games just appeals so much to so many. In this feature, we're going to talk about a few games that put most of their emphasis on letting players explore their worlds and thoroughly rewarding them for it. Abzu The idea of deep-sea exploration is dangerous and exciting at the same time. Abzu is a game that focuses entirely on the latter, putting players into a vast underwater environment and letting you go in whichever direction you please at any time you want. Given how rewarding exploration feels in Abzu, you always want to see more of the game's gorgeous world and unlock more of its environments. It might not be the flashiest game in this group, but it's one that you definitely need to play nonetheless. Outer Wilds We have seen no shortage of games that allow players to explore outlandish outer space environments, but perhaps not a single one of them has done it in a manner as creative and captivating as Outer Wilds. It is a perfect marriage of gameplay and storytelling, as you repeat cycles of waking up on a planet and venturing out into the unknowns of its solar system, seeing new things with every cycle, learning new things with every cycle, and with every cycle coming another step closer to unlocking the secrets of what's going on. Exploration and learning more about the game's mysterious setting is central to everything, and as a result ends up feeling incredibly rewarding. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild the Legend of Zelda as a series has always been about evoking a childlike wonder about its world, and with Breath of the Wild, that got taken to a whole new level. Exploration is very much the name of the game, and such spectacular exploration it is as well. With no map markers and no intrusive mission objectives, the onus is put completely on you to discover the world as you see fit, and it's all driven by your curiosity. Do you want to beeline to the main quest, or do you want to be distracted by all of the wondrous sights you see throughout all of Hyrule, of which there is no shortage? And no matter what happens, your curiosity is rewarded with something stellar every single time. The Forest The Forest is a world that you both want to and don't want to see more of at the same time. It's an unsettling world, unwelcoming of the player, full of hazards and dangers that can kill you at any time, and of course populated by cannibalistic mutants who are best left alone. As much as you want to stay safe in a dark corner, you're still encouraged to explore, and it feels like such a thrill. Surviving the elements, making yourself stronger, building up your base, and learning to deal with the world's threats that much better are just a few of the things that ensure you keep venturing out into the wilds. Hollow Knight even among the vaunted company that it keeps as one of the greatest Metroidvania games ever made, Hollow Knight is a testament to the excellence that this genre allows in world and level design. The world of Hollow Nest is massive, mysterious, and an absolute joy to explore, and there's just so much to see. A startling amount of the game is completely skippable, and there are so many amazing boss fights and bits of story and lore in the game that you're rewarded with for thoroughly exploring every inch of Hollow Nest. Things such as power-ups and upgrades also act as excellent motivators, while the fact that the very act of moving and jumping around just feels so darn good means that not a single moment of aimless exploration ever feels boring. Skyrim Skyrim is basically exploration the game. It is very purposefully built around the idea of letting players loose in a large, systemic world and letting them make their own stories inside of it. From the very first second, the game lets you head off in any direction you want and do whatever you want, and it is so much stronger for it than if it would have forced you to engage with its main story. No matter where you go, you will find something worthwhile. From side quests, to unique locations, to hidden dungeons, to just unpredictable moments of emergent gameplay arising thanks to the game's reactive systems. Elite Dangerous To say Elite Dangerous is staggeringly massive would be a pretty big understatement. That doesn't even begin to describe it. There is an overwhelming amount of things to do in Frontier's space sim, each of them driven by deep and engaging systems. But even if all you wanted to do was explore and see more of the game's worlds and locations, you'd still be set for dozens upon dozens of hours. Given the vast web of activities available around every corner, and how diverse and thoroughly engaging all of them are, 
Elite Dangerous ensures that you're always rewarded for exploration, because no matter where you go, you will always find something worth your attention. East Shade Sometimes, games tell you that the simple pleasure of chancing upon a new site and simply taking in its beauty is, in and of itself, more than enough of a motivation to go exploring. East Shade does that, and it does it so well. It's a beautiful, serene game as you go from place to place, looking to capture the beauty of the world around you on your canvas. It's not a concept that's easy to capture in a medium that is so often obsessed with instant gratification and dopamine rushes. But East Shade remembers to always treat players and reward their desire to explore with something beautiful. Red Dead Redemption 2 Like all Rockstar games, especially the more recent ones, the brilliance of Red Dead Redemption 2's open world is something that you might even miss entirely if all you did was engage with its story. There's something to be said about that design choice for sure, but regardless, there's no denying that if you do step outside of the story's restrictions and choose to explore its world at your own pace, you'll be surprised by how deep, diverse, and wonderfully built it all is. Red Dead 2 rewards the thirst for exploration in its players by placing small little stories and sights all around its world that stand out even in a game full of outstanding moments. There are creepy effigies found in the dead of night, UFO sightings, and a litany of other side stories that might completely pass you by if you don't decide to stop and smell the roses. No Man's Sky in general, as far as exploration-based games go, it's really hard to top one that promises a literal infinite universe. And that's the promise of No Man's Sky. A promise that the game has come surprisingly close to delivering on, in spite of a rocky launch. Persistent post-launch support has transformed the game, and turned its universe of possibilities into something you'll explore not because there's nothing else to do, but because you'll want to ignoring a plethora of other great options the game offers to get lost in its never-ending cosmos. Beyond Blue Much like Abzu, which we spoke of earlier, Beyond Blue lets players explore its beautiful underwater environments. The scope here is different, with a greater focus on narrative and a smaller world, but the joys of exploring are no less rewarding. Beyond Blue ensures that players constantly have something new and beautiful to gawk at, which means that no matter what, you're always feeling that drive to play more of the game and explore more of its world. Xenoblade Chronicles On sheer inventiveness alone, Xenoblade Chronicles warrants a place on this and any other similar list. Because look at what its world is. Xenoblade Chronicles takes place on the bodies of two once warring but now dormant colossal titans, Bionis and Mechonis, who now host organic and mechanical life, respectively. This not only leads to some amazing recontextualization of common land features as gigantic body parts, a cave could be a hollowed out bone for example, but goes further beyond with its inventiveness, featuring some of the most richly imaginative and jaw-droppingly surreal environments and locales found in any game, ever. Xenoblade Chronicles is a very long game, but long after you are done, you will still be booting it up every now and then to have a look around at some of the less trotted areas of Bionis and Mechonis. Bloodborne. Bloodborne's Yarnum is captivating. A delirious hellscape, it crafts a haunting, mysterious, and ephemeral world that begs you to explore it. Not that you have much of a choice, since you must make your way stumbling through the expanses of each area before you can find a way to the next one, but so much of the game is hidden and optional. Entire areas such as Kanehurst Castle, arguably the best designed area in the game, can be entirely missed by the player. Not just skipped, but missed, as in the player literally wouldn't know about them unless they explored and found them. It's a marvel of exploration, as Bloodborne takes From Software's brutal approach to combat and applies it to exploration as well. Exploration is not an option, and it is going to be an outright challenge, but if you persevere, then you're going to be rewarded massively. Dear Esther, the scope of exploration in Dear Esther is very different from most, if not all, other games on this list. But as anyone who's played the game would tell you, it's worth experiencing at least once. Because this is, once again, the perfect marriage between gameplay and storytelling. As you explore more of its hauntingly beautiful island, you learn more and more about its deeply personal and emotional journey. 
Exploration is very much the point of the game, and there's no strictly guided path for you to follow, which means that said exploration is always rewarded with meaningful narrative progression. The Witcher 3 The Witcher 3's world plays to the game's strengths, storytelling, world building, writing, quest design, and uses those strengths to encourage players to explore. Sure, there are collectibles to be found, loot to be looted, and unique monsters to be slain, but on top of that, no matter where you will go in The Witcher 3's world, you will be rewarded with more of its excellent world to gawk at, more excellently written characters to engage with, and more captivating stories and quests to take part in, all of which leads to countless, truly unforgettable moments. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.